Crisp bars. All of the crisp bars. Uh, yeah. What are you eating? It's a uh, right bar, after this one. A peanut butter sugar. Yeah. Ten thirty. Mmm. 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 Mm. So good, Sally. Mmm. Mm. I'm so hungry. I, you're a ham. You know it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So thanks. Shall we find that tasty? I find it sweet. <laughs> tastes sweet to me. It tastes sweeter to me than it needs to. Mm -hmm. I don't really like that much sugar. Right, right. It doesn't have to have that sweet, sweetened taste. This is a peanut butter sticky bar. It tastes pretty good, but I stopped eating peanut butter because it has carbs. And now we're testing these peanut butter bars again. Note when it is, it's 10.30 approximately. And then two hours afterwards, at 12.30, we'll test again and see what it does to our numbers. Because of Jeff's experience with stuff that is uh, supposedly uh, low carb and high fiber, uh, what was it, Julian Bakery? Mm -hmm. uh, that to, to see if this, which is uh, low carb and uh, how many carbs? 21. 21 carbs, of which how many? 17 are fiber. 17 are fiber. Now we know that fiber does do something to your blood glucose level but not as much. We want to see what it does to our blood glucose level. And I want to write this up afterwards, so I want the numbers. How much insulin should I give myself? Is it should be for 21 carbs, or for it should be for four carbs? Most people say uh, that uh, you consider uh, fiber carbs half of regular carbs. In other words, about uh, uh, 10 and a half. Uh, okay. About 10 and a half, 11 carbs? Okay, okay. All right. I will do that. I'm a type 1 diabetic. Okay. How are the bars? Bars are pretty good. What's your guess about what's going to happen? My guess as far as what's going to happen is um, that my sugars are going to be high because I'm not buying into this whole net carb thing because I haven't had a lot of success with it already. I've had more success by judging my insulin dosage based upon the total carb regardless of fiber. Mm -hmm.